It's been a long week, you've been through a lot. It's time to have some therapy, let it all out through hate. Let's be the biggest haters today. This video idea is definitely Demi Rawlings, where she asked Instagram what their most hated fragrances are. So I thought it'd be a fun video to see what releases are frequently seen as bad by the community. I asked you guys, we got 10 fragrances to go through today. Let's start the list. Yup Om, worst thing I've ever smelt. Now, I actually don't have this bottle anymore. I couldn't find it for this video. I think I, I sold it or gave it away. Yup Om is an interesting beast. Um, <laughs> it's a very old school fragrance from the 80s that is still able to be found extremely cheap, apparently reformulated very heavily, and it's going to be essentially an annoying, <laughs> dense, cough syrup-like cherry bomb. It's a, a good way of putting it, or not cherry, maybe raspberry. It is the more annoying cousin of uh, Mont Blanc Individuel, is how I see it. I think it deserves a lot of hate. I've seen it in the community frequently. People don't like this fragrance. It's nice being able to blind buy it for a reasonable amount of money. You can try it out. It has the advantage of being a beast mode fragrance. I get like, what, 16 hours with a loud projection. So you can use it for clubbing. I do think it does smell nicer in the air than up close, but overall, I also hate the fragrance <laughs> and it, it is a perfect example of most of the time, you do get what you pay for. Paco Rabanne Phantom, it smells like cat piss on my skin. Um, okay, I think that's a bit harsh. Uh, <laughs> I've tried the fragrance once, I'm not an expert at it, but from my experience of it, I definitely never wanted to reapply it again. It has a lot of hate on the internet, and I think it's for good reason. I think it's a very poorly blended uh, scent which is a shame because, you know, it's nice to see a new line in a brand that doesn't happen frequently. And it was such an interesting looking bottle. I think it had a lot of hype and it just let us all down. It has a very weird, sharp lavender opening and goes, jumps just down to this very nauseatingly sweet vanilla afterwards. Not a well blended fragrance, very generic and definitely one of the uh, weaker offerings from Paco Rabanne. The bottle, which is a cool idea, having the robot and it has um, like a little scannable things like they call the HFC um, model of, of being able to get content on your phone through it is cool, but it's a gimmick overall. The main thing we want is a good perfume inside. By the way, guys, if you've tried any of these 10 fragrances as we discuss them in this video, let us know your thoughts on them in the comments down below. Dior's Fahrenheit Eau de Toilette. Now this is rude because I think this is a masterpiece, but I definitely had to bring this up because I saw a lot of submissions from you guys saying that you hate this fragrance, which is surprising. I can understand why it might be polarizing. It's got a very sharp violet leaf note, a very green sharp note that can smell like petrol. And apparently that petrol note has been toned down as well over the years. This is also from the 80s, so it's been reformulated. But I still think this smells extremely masculine. It has the maturity to it, but it also has a sexy bad boy effect to it as well. Meaning that I think this could be a leather jacket or a CEO signature fragrance to wear with still great performance over eight hours for me. I think it smells sexy, rugged, really alluring. I, I don't know, I, I personally still love Fahrenheit. I can, I can understand the hate. Is there anyone who supports me down in the comments below? Do you guys also think this is a masterpiece? YSL Kuros Bro. Okay, now I understand why this one was hated. Fair enough, fair enough. I think it's still a masterpiece, this. I love this fragrance, but it is stinky. It is the clean, classic 80s cologne again. 80s cologne of the barbershop, clean DNA, mixed with stinky fecal civet. When other friends bought this fragrance on my, uh, <laughs> Well, not even recommendation or my discussion about it, some, some friends in the community, they have also hated it as well. And um, I personally love it. I think it has a great masculinity, really, you know, old school, um, strong, potent ruggedness to it. 10 hours longevity, strong projection. It can be annoying. I've, I've seen people never say to me, to my face, that I hate it, but I can see on their face that they, they have a bad reaction to this when I'm around them wearing this, which is very rare for any cologne to do. That's why I love this. Um, it's unapologetic, pure masculinity. The reason it's so polarizing is because it has a very strong civet note, which is a warm, ambery, cozy, 
anal gland note from the Civette cat. The real animal note isn't used, they don't do animal testing in fragrances in the UK at the very least, so they don't use it, they use a synthetic replica, but that's the note that you have to look out for. It can be very challenging and it's found more frequently in old school perfumery. Davidoff Cool Water, now this one was surprising. Again, a lot of you guys mentioned cool water. I can understand why. I think the blend is very pleasant and easy to wear. This is like your first beginner fragrance. I had a lot of Hugo Boss fragrances when I was starting off. Um, so I kind of skipped over the cool water phase, but a lot of guys went through it. It does smell like a cheap fragrance. It's synthetic. It's very synthetic, very chemical-like. Green Irish Tweed is miles ahead of it. It's sort of like the niche version of it that some people say, oh, you don't need to buy it because this exists. But I definitely don't think they match at all. The Green Irish Tweed quality, is in a different galaxy to this. Oh, overall though, I think being so affordable, versatile, and fairly long lasting, like this, I think some people go in Nosmic to this, I get six to eight hours, honestly. I still think this makes it a very nice beginner cheapy to go for. What do you guys think? Is Cool Water overdone now at this point? Dolce & Gabbana King Eau de Parfum. Apparently it smells like a Big Mac. I'm not sure if I agree with the Big Mac comments, although I do love Big Macs, and I also quite love this fragrance. So maybe you, got, you do have a point there. I wanted to mention this fragrance in this video because I think it's overhated. I think it's underappreciated overall, uh, sort of overlooked. I think King Eau de Toilette was disappointing for a lot of people. I actually quite like that as well, but King Eau de Parfum has really interesting notes like citruses, fig, pimento pepper, and other woody notes uh, at the bottom, giving us really good longevity. It's a 10 hour summertime fragrance. It is synthetic, but it's well blended. It's very easy to like. It's sort of like they took the bubblegum DNA of Invictus and made it a little bit more mature, a little bit more modern. So it's definitely a generic modern DNA, but I think it's just done very well and it needs more love. What do you guys think? Have you tried this? Nasomato Black Afghano. Again, quite a few submissions on this. I understand why. Um, this is very annoying to wear. It's tricky to wear. I think it's a great fragrance that's just too strong. Some people say, you know, it's a ripoff that Nasomato only give you 30 mils, but you don't need even 10 mils of this stuff. <laughs> like, like even a half spray will just last on you 24 hours. Very intense, smoky, sweet cannabis. It's got this very intense Middle Eastern style to it, extremely loud. So it's a great head turner fragrance, but I think it is gonna be annoying to some people. It's gonna have limited wearability, purely for cold weather only, and you have to not mind smelling like this for 24 hours. What do you guys think? Have you tried this? Le Lion de Chanel. I have my little sample of the fragrance here. I'm wearing it at the moment. I'm a little bit surprised, again, quite a few submissions for this to be hated on. And I think it's unwarranted, but I can see why, I understand why. Um, when I went through the Chanel fragrances as I collected them and started exploring the range as I got into this hobby, I sort of uh, resigned myself to the idea that, okay, Chanel doesn't really do loud fragrances. They're the very elegant and you know moderately projecting fragrances that aren't gonna be too in your face. That's not their style. However, Le Lyon, I think, is one of their best private line fragrances. It is intense smoky and sweet. It's not a cannabis like Black Afghana, but it's more labdanum. They use, so they use a, an, an ambery note of labdanum, which can be very intense and a little bit animalic. It is a sexy fragrance, but I think it is gonna be an acquired taste. So try before you buy, but the great thing about this fragrance is that finally Chanel has a loud head turning slash clubbing fragrance. So if you want a clubbing fragrance from Chanel, Le Lyon is the one to go for. Tom Ford's Black Orchid. The comments are referring to the original Black Orchid. This is the parfum I have here in my hand. I owned the original for a long time and I would agree with the hate. Some guys, I have some friends who wore it as a signature all the time, even in the summertime. They found it very sexy. And then there's the other side of the fence, guys like myself and a lot of other guys who found it too feminine. I would agree, it's too intense dark patchouli, too much chocolate, very floral. I find it is a bit strange to wear on a man, but I think as general perfumery, it is, was very masterful. It has excellent performance as well. However, the parfum does improve on it. I think it makes it a little bit less loud. It's still very long lasting. It makes it a tiny bit more masculine with a rum note. I think it has more character and overall just a better masculine fragrance to wear. So I do love the parfum. I don't like the original Black Orchid. What do you guys think? Are you pro or anti 
Black Orchid, the original. And finally, Calvin Klein won the original. What a classic. I think I used to wear it back when I was in year five, which is like fifth grade, when you're a 10 year old, basically, for anyone who doesn't understand the UK uh, school system. And I used to love that fragrance, you know. Everyone in the UK used to own CK1. That's why it was like, it was like the first unisex fragrance, I think, or the first popular one anyways. It blew up, everyone had it. I still have friends who swear by it to this day. I only see it as a fragrance that can be worn for the gym. That's the only function it has, because it has terrible performance. It's no breakdown, it makes it seem like it's some sexy concoction of loads of different notes, but no, I think it's very simple. Citruses, lemon, bergamot with a nice little musk dry down. I think it's a very simple fragrance. It's like a, your, your very first fragrance you wear. It's dirt cheap, you can get like a 200 ml and just splash away and spray as much as you want. Um, I don't think it's a fragrance I would say deserves hate just because it doesn't do enough to get hate. Um, I can see why you might hate how popular it is, but overall it's not really trying to be much. Um, it's sort of like people's who aren't, people who aren't into fragrances might try it in the store. They say, oh wow, it smells nice and buy it. It's not something that's trying too hard to be anything in particular. Overall, it is too popular, but I don't think it should be disliked. What do you guys think about CK1? Is it still relevant in today's markets? That concludes the video, guys. Do you feel better? Have you let all the hate flow through you in this video? I think I have. I feel much better now. If you guys have any other fragrances that you think deserves more hate, make sure to share in the comments down below, or maybe you wanted to defend the fragrances that are getting hated on as well. You can also do that. Let us know, are there some fragrances in general that are underappreciated, that get too much hate in general? I would love to hear your opinion, guys. Make sure to check out our other videos where I rate the highest rated fragrances by you guys on Instagram as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.